Welcome back to Shannon Gibson's Art and Designs and to Metallic's Emotion Series, Part 4. And today I'm doing a ghost swipe using neutral metallics except for burnt sienna, which is this gorgeous red, orange, rich color. Love it. My base is going to be my black. And I think I'm going to have to thin these out just a little bit more. Gold. All of my paints are by Artist Loft. So my favorite silver, as you probably know by now. And this gorgeous champagne, which for those of you who do acrylic painting, probably use this. It's very similar, if not to um, pearl white, just a little bit more tinge. And if you're wondering, I've got this cool little tool here, silicone brush. And I don't think I'm going to use it, but I brought it out just in case it doesn't turn out the way I want to, because I've never used this before and I thought it would be cool. So let me lay the base. And I'm not going to cover the entire canvas. I'm just going to go around here. I feel what I need. I'm also not doing a center swipe, which usually is considered going through the center of your canvas in the middle of your canvas and then you layer your paint however you want. I want kind of like a swirl for the movement so what I want to do is almost like an S shape and come up here okay I did not have my spatula so okay. guys I'm going to torch I've laid down my black base the light torch. Cannot wait to get a new one. And I'm going to start off with gold. Just a little bit. And yes, I'm kind of running off the front of it. Normally you would have the paint completely on your base, but I'm just trying something different. So now we're going to use that gorgeous burnt sienna. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at that. Now my go-to always and forever, unless there's some miracle or there's something that could be possibly better. The metallics. Do some champagne. A little bit more burnt sienna. Okay, this way. Just don't want to put too much down because I made my paints a little thinner where I was doing the swipe and might have to possibly tilt. We're gonna use a little bit more gold here. Over here, more towards the center. Okay guys. I also have some business card magnets in different sizes here. And I've cut them up because I want my lines to be different. So anyways, uh, let's see how this turns out. Well, let's see how this turns out. I'm going to do just a little tilt. A little, 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 little. Just to kind of widen the paint on the canvas a bit. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, it looks 
good so far. Get my paper towel. Try to get a small one over here. And I want a lot of negative space, um, so I don't want to go directly beside each other for every swipe. Ooh, that's nice. Those gorgeous cells that just came. Of course that's from. Oh, guys. Are you seeing this? If not, you will be. Oh, yes. Somewhat a different side here. This way. There. Okay, this is looking really good so far. I'm not sure how well I don't really want to tilt this, guys. But she's looking really good so far. You'll be happy, so will I, when I get my tripod. And now, I'm going to turn it around. Start the other side. Ooh. I'm definitely going to have to tilt. Look at that bird sienna coming through. Look at that. I think I might have to add a little bit more to the other side, just to balance it out a bit. And my napkin even looks cool, guys. And it's okay to go randomly. You don't have to go in a straight line, like individually each one. I kind of like to space them out and go back and forth. Uh, it kind of helps with the composition and then I know, do I want a big space here? Do I want to leave more negative space? And any excess, that's another good reason why it's good to cut them. Because any excess uh, paint that you have that builds up in the center, when you don't go right next to each other or you have too much paint, you can just simply go in between with your smaller piece. I really like that wispy one. Okay guys, um, I'm thinking I need to add a little bit more burnt sienna in a few places. Kind of turning a little pinky on me here. So I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit more gold over the top here. Or you can always add more. So that's another reason why I didn't cover the entire base. Because if I added too much, then that wouldn't be good. You can't take off, but you can always add more if you don't have enough. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around one more time. Look at that so far. Gorgeous. And now I want to go in with my medium size. I can't tell you how cool, how cool my napkin looks. Let's see if I can show you guys here. How cool the napkin looks. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. 
Maurice, keep going. I tell you guys, it's like hard to breathe sometimes when you do this, believe it or not. If you paint, you understand the anxiety that you get. Oh my. It's so much fun. You're always worried. Oh, drop my napkin. We're going to do something. And it's okay, again, I put enough paint on the canvas that I can do this. I can go back in a few times and not really ruin anything. Okay guys, we are going to tilt. I will be right back. Alright guys, let's tilt this. I think 